A type of tree used to make paper products is in demand. And if you're willing to donate your land, you could make some money. Now, the Trees for Tennessee Seedling Program is looking for qualified landowners. Channel 3's Nick Austin explains why these loblollies are so important. The seedling program is a partnership between the Tennessee Department of Agriculture's Forestry Division and a Spring City Wood Engineering Company. The long-term goal is to plant one million seedlings across the Tennessee Valley. Loblolly pines make up a very small portion of the state's forests, yet they're needed to make paper and construction products used every day. Plant it as a crop uh, that is used to produce fiber for um, for a number of purposes. This state-run nursery in Polk County can provide the seedlings at no cost. Landowners who may not be able to farm traditional crops can help grow the state's population of loblollies by making their land available. Nursery manager John Kahn says it's a genetically improved species that can grow well in East Tennessee. We have selected trees in the woods that we thought had superior characteristics. We test them out. The ones that actually turn out to be the best genetically, we establish an orchard. Huber Engineered Woods in Spring City is buying more than 200,000 loblollies from the nursery to use for future products. So it will increase our revenue and help us uh, come closer to uh, a break-even situation. It's a revived partnership that stopped in 2009 due to a plant shutdown at Huber. Procurement manager Rob Kidd is glad to be back in business. We consider it a renewable natural resource. and. Uh, and either way, it's going to help our wildlife, it's going to help provide jobs, uh, income for the landowners. It takes 12 to 15 years before landowners who agree to take the seedlings can start thinning and selling the timber. But Khan says it's worth the wait. And this will be valuable to keep, keep land in forested condition. For more information on how you can become involved in the seedling program, look for this story on our website, WRCBTV.com. In Polk County, Nick Austin, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. And there's no cost to participate. To qualify, you need between 20 and 75 acres of available land, and the timber must be managed through the local division of forestry.